Kind of like the Vegas of Florida. Let's do it. <laughs> Literally, we're stranded in the Atlanta airport. He said stomach tissue. He was so, out. Yeah. His first time in the ocean. I need some vitamin positivity. Good morning, wonderful people. It's the start of a brand new adventure. We just got our Starbucks. I've been in an iced Americano face. Such a woman. We finally got her up because she wouldn't wake up in time. Listen, I was ready at seven. You can't be mad at me that I wanted to snuggle Pixie. Yeah, well, we also have a flight to get to. That you're making us already leave really early for. Anyways. <laughs> We're en route to the airport. We're headed to sunny Florida, and I'm so excited for a vacation and for the sun. I need some vitamin D positivity. Oh my gosh, and D and C and all the things. Unless he's on the carpet. Over. Oh my Under. gosh. Over. Yeah. Around. Yeah. <laughs> Does he enjoy that or is he just doing it? <laughs> he's like <laughs> barking. He's like growling. <laughs> Louie, wow. He's like, Are you made? Did you Roll do over. tricks? Roll over. <laughs> He had to make a special run for Starbucks. That's all he knows. <laughs> would you like him on the fillet at the end, or do you want him off to the side like this? Alright, perfect. So I'm, I'm right handed, so I'm going to rotate the fist around. It's going to be a little bit easier, so I can fly up and turn it around. So for now, if you want to take that off, you literally like pinch down and twist it around. At the head. Unfortunately, you don't have a tail, but you do the same process with the head. In order to reveal the stomach, you just push down on the head and pull it towards you. That's going to reveal the stomach and all that stuff in there you probably don't eat. So you're going to try to get your blood through the skin. So you're not missing out on any meat right now. This is all stomach tissue and things like that. Oh! This is quite the show. Um, I need to eat a place and get to work. 
happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> you're, 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 you're going to want to go about a quarter inch above the time when it starts. I like to drag it across. Cause I, like, would you like this meat? I mean, it's sort of fine, but some people like to eat it. Dad, are you excited? <laughs> the minute they said stomach tissue, he was like, Strawberry shirt is not table. little Debbie. What bar? There you go. Yeah, well, you can't see the water. No. Yeah, Whoa! I said it reminded me of. Rainforest Cafe without the angry gorillas. Oh, all the salt I've been eating. Hello, we've been in Florida. We got here yesterday afternoon and we're staying in Venice with my great and uncle for a few days. Today was so great, so peaceful to wake up in Florida. For the most part, we just hung out, went to the pool, some good walks, and so much good food. I don't know why, but I got so tired. We all just went to bed, it's about 11.30. Got my own little bedroom and the little den. Honestly, so cozy. I haven't vlogged too much just because we've been traveling here. I'm trying to enjoy the few days we have here. But yeah, tomorrow is our last afternoon here and then in the evening we're going to get my sister and her boyfriend from the airport. They're flying in and then we're heading to Sarasota for the rest of the week for spring break and it just is so great. I've been so in need of a vacation and it's going to be good. I also attempted to start Vanderpump Rules last night. I've been deeply invested in Love is Blind for the last week. I totally forgot there was a new season out, so I totally binged that. I watched an episode in the airport because it came out Wednesday night, and then I finished another episode last night and started Van Vanderpump Rules, but I fell asleep like 15 minutes into it, so. Maybe we'll give that another try, see how long I last. Exciting. This will be a pretty long vlog, I feel like, because I'm going to make it a whole spring break vlog. That will be so special. See ya in the morning. Good morning, Tarjay. Dad had to get his Starbucks again. Woo! We're going to try. Another cute little coffee place we found. We made a Target run. I'm wearing my Good Market hat. And a museum of ice cream. Two very great things. And Lainey and Elias are successfully ready to board their plane. Foxtail. And I even brought my Java sock all the way to Florida. <laughs> Out. Hey dad, look what I brought all the way to Florida. Java sock. <laughs> I, the weather when we were coming, he was like, it's going to be bad, so I just prepare. And then he was like... It wasn't bad, was it? No, it wasn't bad, but then he said it was something really scary. I forget, I forget <laughs> you made it. Yeah, I'm still in shock. <laughs> you, know, you are in shock. I can tell. Look at his he face. <laughs> <laughs> I got one on the plane, but it was like 15 bucks. It was ridiculous. You really did? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you and I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> First time she's ever hugged her. <laughs> Ew! Found a good Mexican place. Well, guys, we just ended up finding a really great Mexican restaurant, the equivalent to El Camino from our parts of the woods. Two inches of 
Lainey dropped ground beef in Elias's sock. Oh yeah. Can I don't you know check if you're sure for if I did it. Yeah, there was no ground beef, but it was close. It was Excuse a close call. Excuse me, did you just drop ground beef in my sock? Are you guys excited? Woo! Elias brought out the Crocs oh, yeah. in sport mode. Yeah, My hip kind of hurts, so I'm walking a little bit. limber up once we get on the feet. Mama. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of your shirts. Ooh, you discovered a daiquiri deck, like, this is awesome. walking distance. I think this is kind of like the Vegas of Florida. It's pretty cool. Maybe the keys would be more of that. Jen, what are you doing? this works. Let me put lemon on mine. Delaney, how do you feel about being less than a month out from being 21? I just really want a scoop of shit. <laughs> For real. I'm trying to ask your opinion and be thoughtful. I want a scoop, a double scoop of and a waffle cone. That's what I want. I think she's frustrated with what she's trying to say. <laughs> People are just going to have to guess what you were saying when I just bleeped out the words. Okay. <laughs> it's not really bad words, it's just Lainey being stupid. Morning paradise. When we woke up, it was looking pretty overcast and it was supposed to storm most of the afternoon. But it's taken a turn and now it's sunny. So we put on our bathing suits and we're gonna walk into town, just kind of explore. My dad had to go return our rental car because the tires were really bad. Like they were balding and we were really nervous that they would pop if we hit something. And that would be really bad. My dad's an insurance guy, so he knows how that whole situation could go down if it went bad. So that's where he is. It's looking great. I've got on my Target Barbie sunglasses. And I really have kind of given up on doing my hair because it gets so big and humid every time I like take the time to style it. So I got scrunch spray. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh yeah. What little farmer's market? This place? What are you wanting to eat? I want like a salad. Yeah, I want this pink car. Right. Gelato. Gelato. Oh, part of the trip so far is the little birds on the beach that are like Clovers. Babies. Yeah. The sandpipers. Going to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we found a really great Mexican place. Quinoa salads, tacos. Good mark, and it ended up being a super great day. So we're headed to. Not is it where we went at all? Maybe if you get somewhere. Hi. Hi. 
How's your day been, lady? How about you? We're having a great time. Dad's peeing in the ocean. I'll stand by the fact that I run on course. Dan's first time in the ocean! Aww. Dad in the ocean is so cute. His first time in the ocean. Take Dan's photos. Wow. Such the perfect beach day. We're listening to some Jimmy Buffett. A little bit sad, but good memories. What is he doing? And I really miss Pixie. Allison has been sending us pictures, and I miss her, but I'm glad she's in good hands. Here comes Dad, back from the ocean, confirming the fact that we thought he just went out to pee. Hey, Dad, how was your first time in the ocean? I'm sorry. His fourth time ever in the ocean. We're leaving? Oh, yeah. No! You can by yourself. I'm sorry, is that weird? I don't know how to believe it. You literally were gonna leave me to go hang out with my dad. I was not. You're on camera right now. Daiquiri deck without me, you. Well, let social media solve this problem. <laughs> I don't know how to turn it off. How's your first day been, guys? It's been fun. It's a big yacht. I got pushed in the ocean. I got <laughs> Those are so big houses, too. I heard you feel like I'm getting tan. Look at these houses. Yeah. Look, look, look. Uh, yeah. Could you imagine saying that? I got a little drunk and I went scuba diving with my goggles and that was cool and I saw a little five-year-old digging a hole and I wanted to dig the hole with them but Lainey wouldn't let me and 
Turn left onto Mound Street. That's about it. I got my feet got sunburned. Then he had a nap. Yeah, I took a nice nap. I wish these pants How shower is now. Your beach? How was your beach day? It was good. I have allergies apparently now. Cold. Yeah, I'm starting to feel on the verge of a suntan slash burn. But I feel it happening, guys. I'm gonna get such a crisp tan. And I'm also really happy to save 40 minutes of my life in Florida because my hair has been getting wavy. We're currently going on a scenic drive through. Whoa, look at that. I love like the oh, Those are cool. How they break I'm, off that I like this one. That's cool. So I think we're going to find a Starbucks. Just in case anyone's wondering, I do have my Java sock. Don't see what I Quiet on set. <laughs> Normally people like don't floor it over speed bump. He jumps on it. Look at that one. Oh. This is a really nice camera. Okay, I'd like to formally kind of blame Elias for over inflating our volleyball and giving me seven Bubbles. degree bruises on my floor. I did. What was that? Bubbles. <laughs> Seventh degree. Like Look at that house. That's more normal looking. I love it. Maybe we should become a cameraman. I like this. Let's talk about it. Lauren, you say let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Yummy. How has your day been? Where you going? I wear a Gilligan hat and a sun resistant shirt. How are you feeling? Are you getting a tan yet? No. No, they're getting a little burnt, I think, maybe. Good happening morning, Florida. It's not morning anymore. We just made another grocery run and got our Starbucks. I got a dome lid today. I'm feeling a little bit tan <laughs> or maybe burnt. Can't really move my forehead I'm much. I'm nothing yet. Quit. I don't know, I only put one coat of nail polish on and they turned like yellow in the sun. So that was humbling. I was like, I have ogre toes. Just had lunch. We went back to the Mexican place that we found the other day. So good. I got the same exact thing again. A good marg. And now we're back for a little bit and I'm going to catch up on Bachelor Hometowns. I can't believe I had to miss it. You know, it's a big deal. No spoilers yet, I'm gonna watch it. And I also found a fun nail polish. I've really been into using like shimmery sheer top coats as like my nail polish because it's very subtle but looks nice. Looks put together but it's not super noticeable when they start to like chip or anything. I had gel on but it peeled off like within the first few days of being here so. All that effort for nothing. <laughs> Going under.
I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. Here, have a napkin, anybody that wants one. Yeah. Nice of you to sit with us, Lainey. Let's get the first bite. How is it? He's <laughs> soupy in there. The mermaid used to make me meringue for an after school snack. All right, go for it. to the parasailing boat. You guys get nervous at all or are you good? I mean, it'll be fun. Yeah? That's cool. on my phone because my dad had my camera to go parasailing with Lainey and Elias but I didn't really vlog too much last night we had dinner after being at the mall and just shopping around most of the day since it was overcast and storming sadly there's always one of those days so it's fine and then we had dinner back here in Siesta Key Village and came back to our place and played cards until like one in the morning so that was so much fun this morning we got croissants from one of the little bakeries that we actually ate breakfast at a few days ago and then my mom and I hung out went to the beach went to some stores while Lainey Elias and my dad went parasailing so they had a lot of fun there I'll have to ask them how it was later but I'm currently out here just having some coffee. We just got back from the beach and I'm out here enjoying the sun and about to journal. I've been doing great with keeping up with my journaling. It's partly because I got these really fun pins in the airport. They're called Louie 
and they're little fancy fountain pens that you can buy ink replacements for. So fun! again sadly it's our last day but it's such a beautiful one a lot of times we have trips and like our last day is awful and it's like well this is making it easy to go back but no today is beautiful and we're just gonna hang around here eat here in Siestiki Village hang at the beach do some things that we've been wanting to do but hadn't yet and I have to show you for all of my One Tree Hill people clothes over brows. Oh yeah. But we just had really tasty acai bowls. Mine had a like gigantic hunk of peanut butter and I'm like... <sighs> I've also gotten really into We'll Always Have Summer, the third Summer I Turned Pretty book. I read like a hundred pages on the beach the other day. I couldn't wait to find out how the series concluded so... I borrowed my sister's book. She's read the whole series. We're gonna make it a good last day. Just enjoy it all. It's here. It's been much needed. Well, it's truly the best beach day. I've gotten really into my book. My mom and I have been out here for a few hours. I mean, Elias just joined us. They're doing great at. I forget what it's called. And yeah. Trying to make the most for a past day tier. Lady! They're so sweet. I also forgot to say that my mom has prohibited me from laying on my stomach because apparently my butt cheeks are really burnt. <laughs> You can't realize how big this is. Like Send that to Abby. It's pretty large. I kind of... Whoa! I kind of pictured it to be a corn dog. It was their famous salty dog. That's where we're at. Elias has a mother load of a burger. Last Den Den. quite the last 24 hours pretty much. I kind of decided I was going to end the vlog on our last night there which would have been Friday when we went to the Salty Dog Pub and all of that and then that night we just basically went back to the condo and packed and watched movies. It was really nice, very sad but I think 
kind of at that point where like we were ready to come home. Still sad, not ready for vacay mode to go away. Saturday morning, we had to have Laney and Elias to the airport by like 9.15 and then check out for our condo is 10. So we wouldn't have had time to drive like an hour and 30 minutes to the airport, drop them off, and then come back and like sign out, check out of our condo. So we did all that before eight. So we were all up around 6.30, packed, got in the car, went to the airport. Literally as Lainey and Elias were in line to check in their bags, they got a text that their flight had been delayed a few hours. So luckily they were still at the, por the part of the airport where they were like, okay, we'll just go with you guys and get breakfast. We went to Starbucks, just grabbed a quick breakfast and breakfast sandwiches, and then took them back to the airport. They got delayed a few more times, but luckily they had a connecting flight out of a smaller airport in Florida. So they were off good to go. They got home yesterday at like five. We wanted to make sure they could get out before we flew out because we flew separate there and separate home. So we spent some more time with my great aunt and uncle in Venice and then went to the airport, the Sarasota airport, a much bigger one. We had a layover in Atlanta. We got a message on the way to the airport that our flight had been delayed like an hour. And we are like, great, this will be great. We're already gonna be here super early because we had to return the rental car. Well then, it just kept getting delayed to the point where we were gonna miss our connecting flight in Atlanta. So we were freaking out. We were like, how are we gonna get home? Like, are there any more flights, any other airlines that we could just switch to? The airport was frantic, because basically it sounds like there was a lot of issues with air traffic control and overbooking for March spring break trip type flights. And yeah, there were just a lot of people frantic and we felt really bad for all of the parents with little kids or like big families trying to get on flights together. We talked to someone really nice through Delta and she ended up keeping us on our connecting flight just on the off chance that it got delayed by like literally 30 minutes was all we needed for it to get delayed to make that. And then she also booked us on another one for the next morning at seven. So that would have been this morning. It's Sunday now. So we were really banking on that and it didn't happen. So we literally were stranded in the Atlanta airport, slept there. It was nearly impossible. The most uncomfortable thing I've done in a long time. And I'm sunburnt. Like my butt is so sunburnt and red and I think like just now when I showered, it got worse from just like sitting and trying to get comfortable on the floor and in airport chairs for so long. But we made it home. It was awful. It's quite the experience. I've never done that before. Kind of thought it would be more fun than it actually was being stranded in the airport, but Nope, it was a little bit creepy, a little bit scary. Sad, we were freezing. Luckily, I had bought a neck pillow and an eye mask that really came in clutch, so. That's how we're wrapping up the spring break travel diary. I might break it into two parts. You'll see, you'll know at this point because I got so much fun footage and it was just such a fun time. Such like the type of vacation I really needed, like beach time, laying out, chilling, reading, journaling, coffee, good food. We literally like walked everywhere, which was super nice, but yeah. I'm so happy to have captured all these memories and I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button if you're interested in sticking around for more. We've been on quite the roll, quite the creative, energized moment. Don't forget to be light and spread love, not hate. See you next time. Stop.